our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. This is the rush hour. I noticed there's a jam a few blocks away. Let's drive off this road. I'm afraid I'll be late. Food is less expensive in a cafeteria because you serve yourself. How to do it? Just pick up a tray, then put a knife, a fork, a spoon and a paper napkin on it and stand in the line. How long will it take to reach the buffet? Not long, because people rush for lunch. The line sure does move fast. Tell the man behind the counter what you want. Okay, I like that green vegetable but I don't know how to call it. Just point to it if you don't know the name. All right. Would you mind doing something for me? I would if I could. Will you please explain the meaning of this word? Yes, with pleasure. What are we going to do? I can't get the car out of this ditch. I'm stuck. I'm worried, Tom. I haven't seen any other cars for almost an hour. I know. This is terrible. What can we do? This snow doesn't stop falling. I told you we should have stayed in town today. The weather report said 100% chance of snow. Why did you want to come up here? I wanted to show you the cabin. We only had another half hour to go. Well, now we're stuck. What can we do? I don't know. I've heard that when this happens, it's important to save energy. What do you mean? We're stranded here, Tom. We may be here a long time. We need to conserve the gas in the car. The car's energy is what will keep us warm. I have plenty of gas. Yes, but the gas and the battery both have to stay working. We can't just let the car run and run. If we do, it will die soon. Then we'll freeze. So what can we do? Turn the lights off. Then, run the car and the heater only about 15 minutes every hour. That will conserve the heat as long as possible. All right. That's a good idea. I wish we hadn't come up here. Now we'll probably be here for days. Days? Yes, it happens. That is what happens in big snowstorms. People get stranded for days. Oh, my God. It's good we have food. Probably we'll survive, but turn the car off for about 45 minutes. Then we'll turn it on again. Okay. I'll follow your advice. You look upset. Is there anything wrong? Yes, to tell you the truth, there is. What is it? Well, I've lost my wallet and my ID card. Oh, that's too bad. I am sorry to hear that. Forget it. There is no use crying over the spilled milk. We have been over this a hundred times. We are not getting a pet. Why not? Come on. Just a cute little puppy or a kitty. Who is going to look after a dog or a cat? I will. I'll feed it, bathe it and walk it every day. We can get a Labrador or a German Shepherd. What if we want to take a vacation? Who will we leave it with? Plus, our apartment is too small for that breed of dog. Okay, 
How about we get a cat or a ferret? We're planning on having children soon. I don't think those animals are a good idea with a baby in the house. Fine. Let's get a bird then. We can keep it in its cage and teach it to talk. A parrot would be awesome. I'll tell you what. I can get you some hamsters and we'll take it from there. Yay. Thank you for purchasing your new mattress with us. No, thank you. Would you like us to deliver the mattress for you, sir? That would be great. When do you want it delivered? I need it delivered tomorrow. Will that be possible? What time exactly? I need it delivered at 12 o'clock. We can have it to you at that time. That's not a problem? We will deliver your mattress tomorrow at 12 o'clock. That's great. Thank you very much. May I help you? I needed to ask you a question. Ask away. How many hours of the behind the wheel course do I need to take? Why do you need to take the course? I want to get my license. You have to do six hours behind the wheel. How many days do I need to finish the course? You can't finish in less than three days. Is that all? There's nothing else to it. That sounds easy enough. This suit looks nice. Can I try it on? Yes, of course. The dressing room is over there. Hi, my name is Violet. Come with me, and I'll help you wash your hair. My hair is kind of dry and brittle. I'll pick a shampoo that's just right for your hair type. Sit right here, and rest your neck on the side of the sink. Is the water too hot? No, it's just perfect. Let me know if I'm using too much force. No, really, it feels great. Okay, you're all set. Come back with me to your seat, and Eva will be right with you. Good afternoon, is there anything I can do for you? Yes, my eyes are small so I want to buy false eyelashes. That will make your eyes seem bigger. Can you recommend me one? Sure, it's the latest. I have to move. You have not fulfilled your lease agreement yet. I can't stay here anymore. There's a problem with that. What is the problem? I won't be able to give you back your deposit. Why not? This was stated in our agreement. But I need it back. I can't do that. It will be impossible for me to stay here. That's not my fault. Excuse me, where is the nearest bank? There is one next to the post office, round the corner. Thank you. Mom, I'm starving. Here are some biscuits. Why are you back so early today? My teacher had a sudden stomachache, so the class was cut short. You? Me what? You are cooking at least two hours earlier than the usual. It's not for us. Then it's for Dad, isn't it? It's so unfair. Don't be a smarty pants. It's for Grandma Wong. What was that again? 
It's for Grandma Wong. She is sick and her only daughter went abroad weeks ago. So she needs our help. I'm sorry. I didn't know that. But I want to help. Um, let me think for a moment. We can meet her together after I finish cooking. I'll get knee to knee with her. Good boy. I can only imagine how happy she will be to see you. Hi, Joan. How are you? Terrible. What's wrong? Someone robbed my apartment last week. The robber took $550. Oh, no. Did you call the police? No. Why not? My English isn't very good. I didn't know what to say to them. I'm going to give you some advice, Joan. If this happens again, you should call the police immediately. You should try to remember everything. You should explain everything to the police. Waiter, bring me the menu, will you? Just a moment. I'm coming. Now, what would you like? I'd like to see the menu. Would you get me one, please? Yes, certainly. Here you are. Thank you. Ah, but this is in French. Would you mind giving me the English menu? It's written in English too, in smaller print. There. Thanks. I'll need a while to choose. Could you come back in a minute? Right. Now, what are you having? I'm sorry. I haven't decided yet. Do you mind giving me a couple of minutes? All right. But would you be so kind as to make up your mind soon? We're very busy just now as you can see, sir. Good morning, madam. Can I help you? I want to buy some cleansing milk. What would you recommend? Your complexion is on the oily side. I suggest you use cleansing gel. Anything that can keep my skin clean will do. How do you prefer this one? It cleans thoroughly without striping your natural protective oil. The gentle formula keeps skin soft and healthy. Hum, the smell is too strong. I can't stand it. I'm very sensitive to fragrance. We've also got a fragrance-free one, specially designed for sensitive skin. I'm sure you'll like it. I'll try that. Do you have facial cream to go with that? Yes, sure. This line of products is fragrance-free. We have a facial mask, moisturizing lotion, eye cream and tonic. I'll buy the moisturizing lotion and cleansing gel first. If they suit me, I'll come back for the others later. Thank you very much, madam. Here are some samples of our products. Do try them out. I like this apartment. Do you think we can afford the mortgage? Yes, I think so. It's not a very expensive apartment. It's in the right area and it has everything that we are looking for. The rooms are quite large too. I love the balcony. We can sit outside and enjoy the sun in summer. We are on the 12th floor, so there's very nice view from the balcony. The neighborhood is nice too. There is a park nearby. Yes, and there are many houses nearby. I like it that the neighborhood isn't full of apartment blocks. It's a pity we can't afford a house. A garden would be so nice. Yes, it would. Don't worry. There's a lawn outside the building and there's the park nearby. This place will be fine. The building is quite new and well constructed. I'm happy with the fittings too. Yes. Everything has been well designed.
May I take your order? I'd like to see the menu, please. Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you had one. Here you are. Don't you have any Chinese food? I'm afraid we don't, but I'm sure you'll enjoy our lunch special. This is the Pan American Club. May I help you? Yes. I believe you have a luncheon meeting this coming Wednesday. Could you give me some more information about that? Yes, of course. The guest speaker is Professor David of a university, and he'll be lecturing about the impact of the oil crisis on Latin America. Hmm, that sounds very interesting. Is learning the English language your toughest challenge yet? Become our student and get access to effective and free educational materials.